Hey guys, Pokeversity here, and there's been these crazy Pokemon floating around the internet today which are apparently leaked out of a beta of gold and silver. I'm going to give you my reactions to them, so let's get started. So the first Pokemon that we've got here is Chikorita, which is exactly the way that it looked in the final games, and then its middle stage evolution looks really, really different. Uh, it looks kind of like a bird or some kind of flying Pokemon, which is really weird considering that Meganium just looks normal. It's weird that it goes from a quadruped to a flying Pokemon back to a quadruped, but nevertheless, this is pretty similar to what we got. The next Pokemon we've got here is the fire type. It looks a little bit like a lion type thing. It looks really actually quite cool. Um, it's a bit strange, but overall I like the final stage a bit more than I like the first stage. The middle stage is also really cool, but the, the first stage just looks a little bit like a, a baby Digimon, not really a Pokemon, so I'm kind of glad that they changed it up here. Third series we've got is the water type range. Now, I think that this is what Poplio eventually became, because if you look at the second stage, it's got like the ball on its neck. This might be what Poplio eventually became, but it kind of looks like a water Charmander at first glance, with the with the darker patch on the stomach, and then it turns into kind of a, a Loch Ness Monster type thing. This is a really cool Pokemon. Next up, we've got the way that Noctowl and Hootoot look a bit different. If you look at Noctowl here, it's kind of taller and just altogether different. Hootoot's got these little dots all over it, and that makes it look kind of different, and the back is a bit more stripy than I think the final design we got is, so that's kind of cool. Next up, we've got Mareep and Flaffy and Ampharos. These look very, very similar to how they looked in the final game, so there's not really a lot there. The only interesting thing is Mareep is pink, and that's Mareep's shiny sprite now, so I guess they decided that the yellowish blue was better. The next set we've got, uh, we've got this Vulpix pre-evolution. That looks pretty cool. Uh, I'd have liked to have seen how the Alolan version of this looks, so that's kind of cool. Then we've got this weird Tangler looking thing. So we've got the baby Tangler and what I guess became Tangrowth. Um, I'd like to see Tangler get a pre-evolution. I'm all up for the idea of them going back in later generations and adding pre-evolutions or post-evolutions to Pokemon. I also want to see more Megas. I just like seeing the Pokemon that we know get a little bit more TLC. Next up we've got this Manta Ray type thing. This might have been an early concept for Mantine. Um, I personally think this looks a little bit cooler. It's kind of like an angelfish crossed with a Manta Ray. I think this is a bit better than Mantine to be honest with you. Next up we see that Quillfish was scheduled to have an evolution. This looks very different. It looks a bit derpy to be honest, but I guess a lot of fish Pokemon do, so that wouldn't be out of branding. Uh, Quillfish looks exactly the same. I'm pretty sure that is the sprite we got in the final game, and the back sprite we got in the final game. Next up we've got a series of pre-evolutions. We've got what I'm guessing was Pichu's initial design. Then we've got Cleffa's original design. We've got Igglybuff, which is basically the same other than it doesn't have the tuft. Then we've got Quagsire on its own for some reason. I guess Wooper didn't exist in this version of the game. Then we have Natu and Zatu, which look pretty similar to what we got in the final game. Pichu looks ridiculously derpy here. There's no reason for this to exist in the format that it does. Um, Cleffa looks pretty cool. And Igglybuff is fine, I guess. Next up we've got Baby Goldeen, uh, that's very different, I don't know why we needed a Baby Goldeen because Seeking's not even good, but there we go, we needed another generic fish Pokemon with a horn on its head. Then we have Maril, which is pink for some reason, and then beyond that we have this kind of fish and shark, which look like they're from the same evolution, and possibly this eel also is in that evolution line. Um, I'm guessing that this fish and this shark were ultimately repurposed for Carvana and Sharpedo. The eel, obviously we've had e the Electros family, uh, so maybe that was what this was repurposed as. Uh, but I think the eel looks a bit derpy. I think the shark looks awesome though, with like an anchor tail, that looks amazing. And actually... Now that I look at the fish a little bit more closely, this might have been the basis for Lantern or Chinchow, because uh, it's got the kind of anglerfish kind of head going on there, so that's actually really cool. Next up we've got Crobat, which just looks like Crobat. The sprite's a little bit different, but the actual design is exactly the same. 
Then we have a Paris pre-evolution for some reason. I don't know why we have a Paris pre-evolution, but this thing is awesomely cute, so sure. Then we have a Spinarak and an Ariados. Now, their sprites have changed a little bit. This is more of a top-down look at them, as if they were kind of climbing on a wall, I guess. Um, they look okay. I mean, I like the Ariados that we got in the end. I don't really like spiders anyway, so seeing this design is, is whatever. Then we have Skarmory. Skarmory looks very, very similar to what we got in the end game. And then we have this thing. Okay, this... I'm sorry. This thing is a used condom. Just look at it. It's a condom with a face on it. Next up we have this, like, trio of birds. Maybe this is like a Doduo pre-evolution. Uh, it's a bit weird if it does, though, because then it loses a head when it evolves and then gains it when it evolves again. Sunflora looks exactly the same. There's no concept here for Sunkern. I don't know why we needed Sunkern. Sunkern is a useless Pokemon. We didn't need that Pokemon at all. Next up we have Fanpy and Donphan. They look very, very similar to how they did uh, in the games. Except for Fanpy, actually. It's missing the red and the ears are a bit differently shaped. And I think the Fanpy that we got in the end game is just a little bit better designed and a little bit cooler than this. Next up we have this dual ghost thing. I don't really know what this is supposed to be. Um, it kind of looks like an evolution of the generic ghost that you could find in the first generation games. It's a bit weird that that exists. Then we have Girafferig, which we can see looks quite different. Obviously in the core games, Girafferig just has a tail with a face on it, but here it's literally a double backwards giraffe. I think the design that we got here was better for it overall. Then we have Smeargle. This looks exactly the same as any Smeargle that you've ever seen. It's fine. This one's super interesting. This is a baby Meowth. Now, I think this is quite cute. I don't really know what purpose it serves in the games, but what purpose does anything serve in any of the games? It's kind of cool. Next up we have this like double cat range. I would say that this was Houndoom and Houndour, but it's definitely not. So this is just a Pokemon that we didn't see get utilised. Um, I don't know why we didn't get, get it utilised. It might be what became Esper, perhaps. Next up we see the designs for Politoed and Sloking. We can see that Politoed had a massive overhaul, um, and I think what we ended up with is way better than this derpy looking thing, but uh, Sloking looks exactly the same as it did in the final release, so not much to say about that. Next up we have Lady Bar, and what I can only assume is Lady Inn. They... Lady Inn looks a bit different, I actually prefer the Lady Inn that we got in the final game. Here it might even be that there's a male and female variant for Lady Bar, uh, and this actually is just two forms of Lady Bar, but... Either way, I think I prefer the Lady in that we got in the final game. Next up we have a Ponytar pre-evolution. That's cute, I guess. It doesn't look that much different from Ponytar though, so I guess that's probably the reason why they cut it from the final game. Then we've got Espeon and Umbreon. Interestingly, Espeon is yellow here, which kind of follows the psychic type motif that Abra and Alakazam were setting in the original games but Umbreon looks very similar. Both of these Pokemon clearly didn't change that much from conception to actual release. They both look fine. Next up, this is just crazy. We see Slowbro's tail is a Pokemon here. I guess this is like a Cloister final stage evolution, maybe an alternate evolution for Shelder, since that's kind of what the anime lore on this is, but that's kind of cool. Here we can see a baby ditto. Uh, that's really, really cute and really cool. I don't really know how that would work, though. Does it also just know transform, just like adult ditto, but it can't breed until it becomes adult ditto? It's quite cool. Next we have Remoraid and Octillery. Now, Remoraid doesn't look that different, but Octillery does. It looks a little bit more fitting to its name, actually. It looks like a soldier. Uh, and obviously Octillery is a combination of octopus and artillery. This dude looks like he's wearing a military hat, so this is actually a really cool design. I'm a bit disappointed that we just ended up with the generic octopus. So the next Pokemon looks a little bit weird, but maybe it's explained by the one after. So we have a fighting type bear type thing, and then we have a spinning top with feet. Okay, so the second Pokemon is Hitmontop, clearly, and I'm guessing the first Pokemon is the concept for Tyrogue. I'm guessing at this stage in development they hadn't decided to make Hitmontop a Hitmon, and so the pre-evolution wasn't linked to the Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee range, so Hitmontop was probably designed to be a completely original Pokemon in the first place. 
Next up we have this cute little puppy. I'm assuming that this is a baby Growlithe and oh, I wish this was in the real games. The next range is the Hoppip range, which I am gutted about. This is so much cooler than what we actually got in the games. I'm guessing the reason we didn't actually get this is because the way that these uh, Pokemon actually look is a little bit reminiscent of Dragon Quest, and so maybe they were worried about copyright, and so they changed it up a little bit. Next, we've got a set of babies. I'm not sure what this first one's supposed to be, but my guess would be that this is a concept that eventually became Happiny. Uh, then we have a Smoochum, which looks way better than the Smoochum that we actually got. I'm very disappointed that we got stuck with the stupid Smoochum that we ended up with. This is obviously Elekid. This looks kind of derpy. I'm glad we didn't get this one. And then we get Magby, and this is just amazing. Like, why did we end up with the Magby that we did? I, I so much prefer this one. Next up, we have Bellossum and a monster. This, this thing... <sighs> what the heck is that? Okay, so clearly when Gloom and Weeping Bell were designed, they were both designed to have evolutions separate through the Sunstone by the looks of it. We have Bellossum here, and we have some kind of atrocity that's like a big bell sprout. I'm so glad we didn't end up with this. This is nightmare fuel, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out of my head. Next up we see Miltank. This is pretty self-explanatory. It doesn't really look that different at all. Then we have some kind of fire type seal. That's actually really cool. I'm sad that this Pokemon never became anything, but it's a really cool design, so maybe we'll see it come back soon. Then we have a Deli Bird, and I actually prefer this Deli Bird's design because it looks even more like Santa Claus than the one that we got. So unfortunately, we didn't end up with this, but the Deli Bird that we've got is just fine. Next up, we have like a mouse cat thing that's clearly electric because of the lightning bolt on its stomach. This evolution line is awesome. This kind of looks a bit like what Dedene ended up being. Uh, I know that's a lot later, but this looks quite similar to Dedene in a way, so that's quite cool. The next Pokemon is clearly the evolution of Farfetch'd. I really wish they'd hurry up and give Farfetch'd an evolution because it's absolutely useless. Some kind of voodoo doll Pokemon next. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. It reminds me a little bit of Banette or Mimikyu. Uh, it's a bit creepy and the fact that it's got a needle going through it I don't think is very Pokemon family friendly. So I can see why this one was cut. Then there's some kind of weird panda. I'm not sure whether this is linked to the voodoo doll or not. But this is a really creepy panda and I'm glad that we didn't end up with this as well. Then we have Murkrow, which as we can see here had a witch's hat. That's a cool design for a Pokemon. Um, I think I like the Murkrow that we got a bit better with the Honchcrow kind of paying homage to the original design of Murkrow. Next set of Pokemon. I'm guessing that this first one is Blissey. Uh, it looks kind of like Chansey, so maybe this is what Chansey was supposed to become. Actually, now that I look at it, it's got the two eggs on the side, and that's kind of like double Chansey. So this is definitely what Blissey was conceived to be. Blissey is just kind of like a big Chansey, so I think if they'd have done something different, maybe this. I'd like to see what this looks like as a 3D model, but maybe this. This would be cool. Then we have Scizor, which I like the Scizor that we got in the endgame overall. Um, this green kind of almost looks identical to Scyther, except the claws have changed. Look isn't really that cool. I like the red, very different Scizor that we ended up with. Then we have a Pinsir Evolution. This looks really cool. And again, this is another Pokemon that I would have liked to have seen them evolve. I know it got a Mega Evolution and that's fine, but I wish we'd have seen some more from Pinsir's evolution line, maybe a pre-evolution, something like that. Next up we have Houndoom and Houndour. These two look pretty much the same. The poses are a bit different, but they're pretty much the same Pokemon. Next up, I'm not even sure what to make of these Pokemon. They're just weird. I, I can't see them being particularly relatable. These first two are like fluffball monsters. I'm really glad we didn't see this be a thing. Then we have this, like, it looks like a cast form sun combined with a lion. Again, this is really derpy. It looks like a balloon. People talk about fifth generation Pokemon, and I will make a video on that. People talk about fifth generation Pokemon looking stupid. This looks stupider than any fifth generation Pokemon. I think this Pokemon here is the worst designed one of all of the Pokemon from a design perspective. That being said, this next one... This is clearly if a Lickitung had a baby with 
I, I don't know, like seven other Pokemon and this was the monster that resulted from it. This is disgusting. I'm so glad that now, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, that we got Licky Licky, which is such an ugly Pokemon anyway, but it's so much better than this. Next up we have Steelix. It looks like a Steelix. There's nothing different here. Then we have Kingdra. I prefer the Kingdra that we got in the final games. This one looks fine as well. And again, maybe it looks better when you actually render it as 3D. It looks quite similar, to be honest. It's just the pose that it's in kind of makes it look fat and lazy. Not that there's anything wrong with being fat, but it's just not the sleek design they were going for with this Pokemon. Next up we have the concepts for the legendary dogs and I don't really know how to look at these. I think I like what we got in the final product. I think the coolest one of the original designs is clearly the fire type which became Entei. I think I like the way that the legendary dogs aren't really dogs in the final game. You know, Raikou's kind of a, a tigerish thing and so on. But overall I do I'm kind of glad that we got the designs that we did get. You can clearly see where the inspiration came from with these ones, but that's about where it starts and ends. Next we have this cat-type Pokemon with whiskers and weird posture, and it looks a little bit like a Mienfu, but I don't really know what it was here for. Then we have Ho-Oh. It just looks like Ho-Oh, but less colourful. I guess everything was pretty much one colour with shading back then, so this is kind of what ho -Oh looked like in the base game. Next we see Togepi and Snubble and I guess something that looks like Apom. I guess Apom was supposed to be more like a cat in the original games. That's quite cool. I like the Apom that we've got though and Ambipom is awesome so there's no need to worry about this one. And then we've got this like grass type evolution that for some reason isn't placed with Espeon and Umbreon. I don't know why it's down here unless it's a completely separate Pokemon but to me this looks like an early concept for Leafeon and that means they had a Leafeon concept back in Gen 2. That's crazy. And then just unknown A which you know is unknown A. These Pokemon are just crazy. It's really cool to see how the development of Pokemon changes over time and I really hope we get to see more of this as we go forward in the future and we get to see more kind of developmental artwork for all the Pokemon that we have. Anyway, I just wanted to get my thoughts out there on this. Uh, everybody in the Pokemon community is talking about this today so I wanted to get my thoughts out there. If you like this video then please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think of these Pokemon. Please, if you like this video, then subscribe for more and hit that notification bell so that you get messages about when all of my new videos are coming out. But that's all I've got for you right now, guys. This has been Pokeversity, and I'll see you guys next time.